Hello and welcome. I want to talk to you a little bit today about how to use my favorite tool um, to stay on track with my network marketing business. Um, so what is it? What do I use? Well, actually it's called Google Keep. Um, and I love for one that it doesn't cost anything. It's free as long as you have a Google account. I'm sorry, I'm trying to figure out the lighting for this. Um, as long as you have a Google account and um, it'll have you like register um, to set it up. But what is Google Keep? Google Keep is like a post-it note system that sends you reminders. So if you need a reminder for when to post something, if you need a reminder for when to maybe follow up with someone um, or to uh, work on a specific project, Google Keep is really fun and easy to use. So I'm going to share my screen a bit here. Um, bear with me and I'll show you a little bit about Google Keep. So here is Google Keep. Um, this is one that is already set up, obviously. And this is how I set it up to do my marketing. I don't know if you do prospecting, if you do marketing, um, but you can do, you can set it up however you want. Um, a lot of people, you know, they love Trello, but they don't want to pay for the extra features that Trello has to offer. And Google Keep makes it really easy to have something free that allows you to do everything you need to do. It integrates well with your Google Calendar um, and you can get those reminders sent right to your phone. Plus it gives you, as you can see here, a nifty little checklist. So as you can see, this is what I do for my prospecting and marketing. Um, you can see that I have how many comments, when to post, I have a morning DMO, when I get home, lunchtime, nighttime, you know, all that fun stuff. So after you register for your account, um, <clears throat> you will go in and how do you even set this up, right? That's what you want to know, how to set up Google Keep and use it. So first we're going to create, I'll move some stuff around here. Um, Okay, um, I normally do this from my phone, so bear with me. The phone app is super, super easy to use. I can show you real quick before we get started into this. So you can see on my computer, I've got it set on dark mode. Um, on here, you can see kind of, it gives you the little post-it notes where you can have the check boxes. So just different ways to see it. Uh, so we want to go in here and this will give you another version of how you can see it, whether you do the little sticky notes, the list view. We want to go in here and create a new note. These ones, as you can see, this says pins. These are obviously the ones that I use the most and I have them set into my Google Calendar. So I get reminders, notifications of each thing that I need to do. So in here, um, you go, you can, sorry, let me go back. So up here where it says take note um, on the app, it's a little bit different. Like I said, I'm way more used to using the app. But so you give it a title, we'll call this our test, um, just because it's the test one that we're using. And maybe you're using it for follow up, some different ideas, right? You can use it for follow up, you can use it for your posting, you can use it for uh, what type of content you want to create. If you have a series of blog posts or videos that you want to do, you can go ahead and do that as well. So we go in here <clears throat> um, and for our notes, we're going to, you can either, now there's a couple things you can do. You can write something here. 
and have just an actual note or you can go in and change this um you can copy it to a google document so if you have something that you actually want to save and print you can do that or we can do what i love to do is create check boxes so you can write something here you can oops if i could spell you can save ideas you can save website links that you want to go back and reference because you can set a reminder this is milo he pops up here once in a while um he'll probably just stare at me most of the video because that's what he does um other things that you can do is create an editorial calendar. Um, so you can, you have all these different things that you can do. Now, see down here where it says pins because I want those things um, to always show up, right? I should probably hit enter. <clears throat> so we've got our check boxes because we're gonna keep using it. We're going to pin it because it's something that we don't want to put into the archives. If it goes into the archives, then um, you don't have access to it like you will for what you want to do. So remind me, this is where you can go in and set a reminder. Now you can set if you want later today, what time? If you want tomorrow, what time? Next week, what time? Or if you go to pick a date and time, you can go in here and what you'll do is if you want this to go on repeat, you can set it for today at whatever time. Go down here and set your repeat. So maybe there are certain notes that you want to set on repeat daily, like my DMO that you see there, that repeats daily. Every day it pops up, I go through, I check it off, um, that it's done. And then after it's done, I clear out the check marks, it resets itself for the next day. Maybe it's something that you wanna do weekly, maybe you are planning out your weekly content and you want it to pop up weekly, um, so you can set it as weekly, and then when the notification comes through on your phone, you go through, same thing, check boxes, and then when you're done, clear it out. Um, and uh, there we go. So this is set. Now you can change the colors as you saw with mine. There are all sorts of different colors. So you could do like your editorial calendar ones, a certain color, you could do your website link ones, a certain color. Maybe you've got training you need to watch, do that a certain color so you can color coordinate. It's on, honestly more functional than Trello. I think there's so much that you can do with it. You can put an image to the background. You can, when you're done, if you don't want to see it anymore, but you don't want to lose it, you can archive it instead of delete it. Um, and that way, if you want to have it back, like say it's a holiday one that you're creating, you can go ahead and archive it after the holiday is over. And then next holiday season, you have it, you can update it and pull it out of the archives. So really quick, and easy. If you're using it for your team, this right here, this will allow you to add a collaborator or more so if you have stuff that you want your team to be doing every day you can go ahead add them in here they've got access to it and then when it pops up so in your phone it'll pop up as google keep reminder you click into it it'll show the exact checkbox for the time and date that you set it for and you just check it off so this shows you when you check it off it crosses it off so say you don't finish everything, it's all still here. You can come right back and say, you only got through three of them, whatever. Give it, you know, whenever you're free again, go in. You can go ahead, finish what it was that you didn't finish, check it off. When it's all done, you just go over. Um, 
and you can then oops, uh, uncheck all items because you completed them for the day and then it'll reset itself for the next day. So really quick and easy, helps you stay on track, gives you reminders on your phone, um, which if you're like me, you take your phone everywhere. So I hope this helps. Uh, let me know in the comments if there's something more that you wanna learn about Google Keep or how to integrate it with Google Calendar. That'll probably be an upcoming video. So thanks for watching and I will talk to you all later.